Welcome to Electron Line. A very important aspect of inequalities is when we multiply both sides of inequality by a negative number. Then something very strange happens, and so let's pay attention and see what happens here. Here we have the example 3 minus x is less than or equal to minus 5. So we want to find all the values of x that satisfy that inequality. We can solve that by a isolating x on the left side, so we're going to move the 3 to the other side, and when we move the 3 to the other side of inequality, it does change sign. Just like with equations, we get minus x less than or equal to minus 5, and the 3 that goes to the other side becomes a minus 3. And therefore we get minus x is less than or equal to minus 8. But we're not looking for what minus x is equal to, we're looking for what x is equal to. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of inequality by negative 1. But when we do that, we have to flip the inequality symbol around. So, by, so what we're going to do then is multiply both sides by negative 1, so negative 1 times negative x and negative 8 times negative 1. So we multiply both sides of inequality by negative 1, but when we do that, we must flip the inequality symbol so now it becomes greater than or equal to. So now we continue. We say negative 1 times negative x is x, greater than or equal to negative 8 times a negative 1, which is a positive 8. And this is the answer. x must therefore be greater than or equal to 8. When we place it on the number line, it looks as follows. So here's 0, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, let's continue on here, 8, 9, and 10. The critical point will be the number 8. We draw a little circle around it. Now we darken the circle because it says an equal to, that means it includes that point. And it says that all values greater than or equal to, so anything to the right of the 8. So we draw a thicker line this way with an arrow which means that all the numbers to the right of 8, including 8, satisfy the inequality. If you want to write that as a range, we could say that it starts at 8. We use a bracket because it includes the endpoint 8, and it goes all the way out to infinity on the other side. Put a parenthesis around that because you cannot include infinity since that's an undefined number. And that's how we indicate the solution to this inequality right here. But again, the important thing is, if you want to turn this into a positive by multiplying this by negative 1, of course you have to do the same side, same thing to both sides, then you must flip the inequality symbol around. And so be careful when you do that, to, otherwise you won't get the right answer. That's how it's done.